Right, thanks for joining us for another section of the Northamptonshire Boundary Walk. We've parked up in house where we stopped last time and we're walking to Ovendon, I think, which is near Walkfield, another 14 and a half mile section. I did have a bit of a mishap this morning because I was leaving the house early, I didn't have time for a cuppa. So I filled my thermos mug with coffee to bring. Unfortunately, I tested it before I came out, closed it, how I, th well, I thought I'd closed it. You can see where this is going here. And there's a car coming to ruin my video. Just wait till he's gone. And yeah, well, the story is, I put it all in the car, put my stuff in the car, sat down in the seat and immediately got very warm and very wet and that it was open so I not only lost my coffee I managed to wet my clothes and my shoes as well so moral of the story is if you've got a travel mug check it's closed before you put it in the car so anyway we're setting off it's a lovely sunny morning and I shall see you soon it's where we came in last time and this is where we're going this time So a lovely perfect autumnal day today. Let's hope we keep the sunshine. Some of the best of the Northamptonshire scenery today, hopefully. Back into the rolling fields and the woodland. That's a good sign, Nut. There's apparently a bull in this field. So let's just hope that the bull is not in residence today. I can't see any sign of it, it's probably hidden, lying in wait for us, ready to pounce at any moment. You can see it's a bit blurry, there were paragliders or parachutes coming down. It's gone a bit blurry in the vanish. Oh no, they're still there, you still see them. Not very stable style. <laughs> We've just been very brave and walked for a field with loads of cows, but luckily they didn't pay us any attention. Seems to be a skydiving theme today. There's a load more coming down. We just saw the plane go over and they're, they're coming down now. Look really graceful. One of those things I quite like to do, but I'm also a bit scared of. We're coming into a delightfully named village called Hidden in the Hedges. And on the map, it looks like there's just loads and loads of little fields all the way around it. Well, they're not quite so obvious on the ground. We've come for a few, but 
it doesn't look quite on the ground like it does on the map but I'm sure it'd be an attractive village anyway Old World War II bunker by the look of it. So slippy along here, quite treacherous. And that's obviously the source of the skydivers hidden in the Hedges airfield. This is where they've been taken off from, obviously. Just taking the glider. coming into Charlton now not made in Carolina but um, we're going to stop here I think for a nice cake and a brew find a nice bench somewhere a tip if you want somewhere to sit when you're on a walk and you come into a village go and find the church because there's nearly always a bench in the churchyard well, there, there isn't a church, but there is these lovely benches. Although Sue's a bit worried because she's just spotted a wasp. So we may not be staying here. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be a church here, but there is that. A lovely bench in a shelter and in the sun. Time for our first snack break. And we've got loads of snacks cakes and everything and we're going to have a cuppa. First snack stop of probably many. We find a nice spot. Still a glorious day. Been really lucky with the weather today.
This is the site of Rainsborough Camp, an Iron Age hill fort that was occupied from the 6th century BC. I think it was overrun and destroyed in the 4th century BC and then it was used again as a settlement in Roman times. I just bet you wonder what it would have looked like all those years ago. with the houses would have been inside. These walls would have had a palisade on them probably and then everybody kept safe within the walls. Now this is a lovely name village, Ainho. I'd love to know it got its name and I will google it when I get back so we'll put it in a voiceover if I find anything down. Slow down see more there you are, that's an excuse not to walk fast. I'll take that. The name was derived from Ironhoe, which is Old English for a spring, grove or a hill. Really lovely view. We're heading off into open countryside now, and I think that might be King Sutton in the distance. That's where we're headed for. But this is quite a nice bit by the look of it rolling fields and woodland, proper Northamptonshire. We watched in delight as several red kites wheeled and danced their way through the sky above us. That's a funny sign. It sticks out a bit, out of place. Well, this village we're just coming into is called King's Sutton. It's quite a large village and it's quite interesting actually. This is the actual official start and finish of the Northamptonshire Boundary Walk. Well, we haven't started from here because it was easiest for us to start last year from Geddington. Um, but yeah, this is where the route officially starts and ends. King Sutton stocks, these stocks date from the early 19th century. In 1858 a local man was put here overnight for being drunk and disorderly, guarded by two parish constables. He was later discharged at Brackley Petty Sessions. I wonder if anyone pelted him with anything. There's an old rhyme that goes Bloxham for height, Middleton Cheney for might and King Sutton for beauty and it's supposed to highlight the attractions of the three neighbouring historic churches in the Tyrrell Valley and it's right the church of St Peter and St Paul in King Sutton is beautiful and it's visible for miles due to its slender spire one of the tallest in the UK at 60 metres the spire was erected around 1370 and is said to be the work of Edward III's own architect. The church itself dates to at least the Norman era, perhaps before, and it retains some 12th century stonework. 
It was heavily restored in 1866 by Victorian architect Sir George Gilbert Scott. This is quite a grand church. You see there's a very ornate gold canopy over the door. Also the pews are boxed in, they've got little doors on them. It's a lovely church this. There's some stone steps there leading right the way up. I bet lots of work to the bell tower, but it's, it'd be really difficult to get up there because there's no access there. So they probably don't want me to do it. Having another snack stop there with all our <laughs> lovely cakes in the churchyard. Found a lovely bench that was to suit us nicely. I think it's just straight on. I'll say King Sutton is a really attractive village. Oh, it's one of these gates that are really um not don't give you much room at all. into fields. I had a brief shower at the church when we were having our lunch. Nothing too bad. But the sun's out again now. And it's glorious again. Everything looks so much better with the sun on it. It really brings out the autumn colours. Coming into Walkworth now. We're going to head around the church and come back, cut back down to where the car's parked. That's the plan anyway. It's a lovely evening. We're just about back to the car in Ovendon. We walked through walk, Walkworth, took a detour to the church, which was nice to see. And we're um, just walking back to the car now. So it's another, what, 14 and a half miles ticked off the Northamptonshire boundary route. And thanks for watching. Really appreciate all the views. And if you, if you liked watching, then give us a like and subscribe using the button below. But yeah, do appreciate all the support, so thank you. Well, that's us back at the car now, so back home for a nice bath and see you next time. <laughs>